Hey everybody, so I got my electronic autofocus in the mail today and we're getting it hooked up here to my telescope. Um, just want to do a quick overview. This is the one that takes just uh, USB 3 power. There's no extra power cable, which is nice. It also has the temp sensor there to plug in. Uh, but we've uh, pretty much got this mounted up right now. Uh, you start out by removing two of your screws on here and then... Um, you may or may not have to find some hardware depending on your telescope. It does come with a couple of bolts, but those are mostly going to work with um, <clears throat> probably a different focuser. But I had to go get hardware. Uh, anyhow, I choose to mount mine with only two of these bolts. Uh, that way, if any of this stuff decides to wiggle loose in the future, I still have two bolts holding my focuser on. And, you know, I don't want that falling off. Uh, two bolts are going to be just fine. Same way I did my drone motors back in the way and in, uh, in the day. So after you got it mounted up, then loosely um, mount your motor on. I put uh, my coupler on and I had tightened it to this side. So currently it is tight on that side, but it is loose on the motor. All right, there's a an Allen. Um, there's a notch in both this shaft and this shaft and you have to line up at least one of these set screws with that flat spot. Uh, the, e, uh, the EAF, its flat spot is pointing directly that way, and there happens to be a hole right here, so I'm gonna line that set screw up there and tighten it right there. Uh, then once I got that tight, uh, tighten up all my other bolts, make sure everything's snug. Uh, this is just in there for looks right now. It won't go all the way in. Uh, if you wanted to lock that for some reason, which you shouldn't need that anymore, um, you could get a longer one. But I probably wouldn't put that in there because you, you you know you want to lock it and then try to turn it with this. Uh, but you yeah, once you hook this up, you're no longer going to manually focus this. All right, so um, yep, that's that's um, the mounting part of it. So on to the software. Okay. So once you have your drivers downloaded and installed, um, you're going to come up to start programs. You're going to find ASCOM Platform 6, and we're going to go down to Device Hub. Uh, from there, you will see Focuser here on the list, but uh, it should, if you've never had one installed or haven't installed ASCOM drivers before, there should be a simulator listed here and not the actual Focuser. So we're going to go to Tools, go to Setup, then come over here to Focus Her. We're going to click Choose. We're going to choose our ZWO Focuser. Then we're going to click on Properties. That'll take a second. It will connect to the Focuser, and then uh, it will open up this box. Now these values will probably be different um, because I've already set this up and gone through it. Um, so basically, what you're going to want to do from here is move in or out um, with these two buttons here. Uh, you might want to change this to less than 500 to start out with. Uh, but you want to move it in until you get to the bottom of the travel. Uh, once you're there, then you will set that at zero. So you will set zero. Um, so mine happens to be set at 3200. Um, once you get that point set and you click on advance you will want to move it all the way out until it stops traveling at the end of its travel and then you want to set uh, your max steps it will tell you your position that you're currently in current position you will put that down here you should put maybe a little bit less than where you currently are you don't want it to the object here is to have an end stop so that the motor doesn't damage itself by running past either end. <clears throat> okay, uh, so once you get there, you can set your target position somewhere in the center. Should be fine. Uh, then you're going to determine your backlash, and this is how I determine my backlash. I set a movement for 500, and then I moved uh, to the center about and then I moved out a couple of times. I pushed the out button three times and then pushed the in button three times. And once you're done, 
it should, if this is set to zero, most everybody's going to have some backlash. It should probably not be in the same place. So at that point, um, I would change this to either like 10 or 20. I would move it that many steps and figure out how many steps it takes to move it back to the original position. Um, my backlash ended up being about 60 steps. Um, so, yep, once you've got that set up, that's pretty much it. You're done. Uh, this thing's ready to go. And uh, you shouldn't have to mess with this software again, depending on what you're using. I use Nina, so I'll pop open Nina here and go to Focuser. And it's already there. Connect to it. There you go. It automatically pulls up all that information. Now, if you wanted to get to that and not even mess with the software before, you can you could just install it and then if you're using Nina, you can it'll already be there so you can connect to it and get to those settings from here. So this settings panel will go ahead and open up uh, the EAF setup panel. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next live session where we're going to play with this autofocuser and uh, we're going to mess around with the Hocus Focus plugin for Nina. Thank you very much, guys.